Hey guys, it's Liz of Crafty Inked Girl. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a plan with me for the week of October 12th to the 18th using this beautiful rose gold foiled cozy kit from Peach Palm. I am in love with this artwork, all the pumpkins, the leaves, and particularly that pair of socks because I do love knitting socks in the fall and the winter time. So this kit just spoke to me and I thought it was a perfect, gorgeous kit to use for this week because this is actually part of a planner tag collab with a group of fabulous ladies and I will give you all of that information in just a moment. I did add on the confetti foiled headers with the kit and the deco sheet. I'm going to be using these Sadie Stickers pumpkin date dots that I picked up on a $2 Tuesday because they're just adorable. And I have this deco sheet from the Sweet Planner that I thought matched the artwork pretty perfectly so if I need some extra deco I'm going to tie that in. So if you want to hear about this planner tag collab and see how this spread comes together just stay tuned. So as I mentioned, this plan with me is part of a planner tag collab that I'm doing with Kinsey of Kinsey's Creations, Lauren of Plamos Plan, Jana of Jana K Plans, Laura of Laura Lee Plans, Kiara of In Kiara's Planner, Erica of Erica Marie Plans, Emily of Emily Catherine Plans and Joe of Ice Cream Joe. So I will link all of their videos down in the description below because we're doing some fun fall and Halloween themed Q&A and you can head over to their channels to see their spreads and hear their answers to all the questions. So if you have any questions about the stickers or anything I'm doing in the spread, just leave a comment down below and I will answer all of that for you. But in the meantime, I will just get right into the Q&A. First question, is fall your favorite season? Why or why not? Yes, fall is by far my favorite season between the cool, crisp air, the way it smells, the way it feels, the ability to start wearing cozy sweaters and sweatshirts and snuggle under warm, comfy blankets and wear slippers to the fact that the leaves are changing and the colors are absolutely stunning and beautiful and the fact that we're going into spooky season because Halloween is my absolute favorite. I love everything about it. There's just nothing bad that I could say about fall. So yes, it is my favorite season and I wish it could be fall all the time. Are you obsessed with pumpkin? I could safely say yes, I am obsessed with pumpkin. I love pumpkin pie, pumpkin muffins. I love all of the different pumpkin drinks for the season, pumpkin spice lattes, and everything, whether it's like candle scents or wax melt fragrances with pumpkin. I just love all things pumpkin and pumpkin decorations and actual pumpkins. I love carving pumpkins. There's just so many fun things about pumpkins that I love. So yes, I am obsessed with pumpkin, as you can probably tell by my rambling. Next question, Uggs or boots? That's a tough question because I love boots. I have so many beautiful pairs of boots, cute ankle boots to tall, high-heeled boots to my favorite Fry motorcycle boots, but I love my Ugg boots because they are warm, they are cozy, they are comfortable, and there's nothing I hate more in the cold weather than having cold feet because I feel like if my feet are cold, my whole body is cold and I just can't warm up. So when it is cold out, I tend to wear my Uggs pretty much 24-7 unless I'm just going to a nice dinner or I'm going to be inside most of the time and I'm dressing up nice. Then I'll put a pair of pretty boots on, but if I'm going to be outside for most of the day, it is definitely Uggs. So as much as I love my beautiful boot collection, if I have to pick, I am going to say Uggs. Okay, next question. Oversized sweaters or cardigans? Definitely oversized sweaters. I will take a good, comfy, cozy, oversized sweater with a pair of leggings 
and my Ugg boots pretty much any day. I have a few oversized cardigans that I wear every now and again and I love them. They're super cute but there's just something about being in a big cozy comfy oversized sweater and I'm actually wanting to knit myself a nice new chunky sweater this season. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not because I don't really need it. I just kind of want to. But uh, yes, I absolutely love being in a nice cozy oversized sweater. Favorite fall memory. So when I think back of my favorite fall memories as a child, pretty much what stands out to me it was going to pick out my pumpkins with my mom. We would go to this nursery on Long Island and I would get to pick my pumpkin and we would pick some apples even though it wasn't like real apple picking they were just like in these big bins but my mom and I would always go because there was one particular type of apple the McCoon's apples and we both really loved them so we would pick like a bag of apples out and then there was like this little haunted house but it wasn't really haunt like scary it was for kids but there was Otto the ghost and my mom would take me through to see Otto the ghost and we would do that pretty much every fall around Halloween time and that just really stands out in my mind and also going trick-or-treating with my dad when I was little that was always so awesome and it was just great time spent together so those are kind of my favorite fall memories from when I was a kid and then as an adult like last year my boyfriend and I went to this place on Long Island called Old Westbury Gardens and they had the Rise of the Jack Lantern which is 7,000 hand carved pumpkins that are all lit up and they are kind of like laid out on a path throughout this garden and we went at night time to see them and it was just so incredible to look at all of the artistry that went into carving these pumpkins and doing a really awesome fall activity and kind of Halloween at the same time and it was just such a fun evening and it was just so nice to enjoy that together so I would say that is a favorite fall memory from recent times next question does it get cold where you live yes it does I live in New York so it absolutely does get cold it's not that cold yet we have had a pretty mild October so far it's been mostly in the upper 60s and low 70s we've had a few days where we've been in the low 60s and upper 50s but only maybe one or two days so it's not super chilly but I look forward to when it gets just a little bit colder than it is and then before we know it it's going to be winter and it's going to be absolutely freezing but I'm not rushing that just yet I just want the nice crisp fall weather favorite fall drink pumpkin spice latte without a doubt is my favorite overall fall drink especially if I'm getting something hot and if I'm getting a coffee at nighttime I really really like a hot pumpkin spice latte in the daytime I do love a pumpkin cream cold brew but I don't get that at night because I just don't want like a cold drink at night in this kind of weather and also as of late like I've done something new I love tea in the fall and the winter time especially in the morning and I like spice tea and there's this one particular tea from Celestial Seasonings called Bengal Spice and it's a blend of cinnamon ginger cardamom and it's so good if you like chai you'd probably like this and so what I've been doing is I take some almond milk and I bring that to just a very gentle boil and then turn the heat off and then I steep the tea bag in the almond milk instead of in water and it is so freaking yummy I just get original almond milk not vanilla or anything like that not sweetened and it's just kind of like having a chai latte but I don't have like a froth or any of that fancy stuff so just steeping the tea bag in the almond milk that is amazing and that has been my favorite fall drink in the morning time but I guess if I have to pick the overall favorite it's still the pumpkin spice latte I know that was a really long complicated answer but whatever.
that's my answer. I'm sticking to it. Favorite shop for fall stickers and kits? Oh my god, that's a really hard question because I don't have one favorite shop for fall kits and stickers. I would say this year the shops that I bought the most fall kits from was Peach Palm, which I'm obviously using a fall kit from Peach Palm right now. Uh, let's see, Sadie Stickers, I got a bunch of fall kits from, and Mary Me Bell, I got a bunch of fall and Halloween kits from. I also got a couple of kits from Planner Pixie Co., and I love those, and those were mainly Halloween kits. Um, and then for other fall stickers, I didn't really buy any other stickers that weren't kits other than some deco and foil overlays and things like that which I got from Sadie's stickers so I don't know I can't pick one so what who I mentioned for kits those are those are my favorites this year and you know that could change it depends on who comes out with what so that's a tough question and it's always a tough question when you make a planner girl pick one shop for a favorite not fair <laughs> Anyway, uh, favorite fall Halloween movie. That's another one where I can't just pick one because I have some movies that I like to watch year after year, and that would be Hocus Pocus and Sleepy Hollow and Nightmare Before Christmas. I watch those every year. I have to watch. It's just not... Halloween or fall without watching those. I also love Practical Magic. I haven't watched that yet this year, but it is definitely on my list. Um, but uh, yeah, those are definitely those are definitely my favorites. I can't pick one, so there's there's three, and that's it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Do you go pumpkin picking, apple to the apple orchard, or haunted house? I like to do all of those things. I actually went pumpkin picking this week, which you'll see on Saturday. I really enjoy being able to go and pick out a pumpkin because I love carving pumpkins and then I love roasting the pumpkin seeds and it's just so much fun. Like it's just not fall or Halloween if I don't have pumpkins. I really, really love going apple picking. There is a particular place, upstate New York, that I love to go to. I haven't been in a few years. It's been a little while since I've been apple picking and I sort of hoped to get there this fall but weekends have been a little bit crazy with weather it's been halfway decent some days and not so great other days and when it's nice out things tend to get crowded and with everything going on with covid it's just not something i want to do with tons of people around so apple picking might go to the wayside this year and as much as I love haunted houses that is definitely something going to the wayside this year but when things are you know normal I do love a good haunted house as long as it's not clown themed I cannot stand clowns and I've been in one clown haunted house once years ago and I could not stand it but give me anything with like vampires werewolves just general creepy spooky stuff and I'm all good with that I like anything like ghostly zombie you name it that's fine just no clowns so perhaps one day I'll get back to a haunted house but definitely not this year favorite candy so I am definitely a chocolate girl, so I like any candy that's got something chocolate related. Give me a good Reese's peanut butter cup, Twix, Snickers, things like that, or Hershey's, Hershey like kisses, the little miniatures with almonds, just a good old Hershey bar. I am not so big into like the Skittles and sweet candy like that the gummies the sour patch kids like I like a little gummy bear thing here and there but it's really not my favorite thing but anything that is a chocolate kind of candy that's that's where it's at for me so favorite costume well when I was a little girl my mom always made my costumes she was really great at sewing and I remember that she made me an Annie costume when I was little and I was obsessed with Annie and I needed 
to have that red dress with the white collar and it was just my thing and she made me that so I remember that being a favorite costume when I was a little girl and I also loved the 50s poodle skirt and she made me a pink poodle skirt and a red poodle skirt and I don't remember if that was elementary school or that was middle school but I remember that being another standout in my head so I would say that was for sure a favorite. I have not worn a costume as an adult in a really long time only because I haven't been to a Halloween party or anything that required a costume. Not to say that I wouldn't dress up because I would love to. I just haven't been to anything that would have been costume appropriate and honestly I don't know what I would dress up as if I could but uh, yeah, so I can only think of those favorite costumes from when I was little. What are your plans this year? Honestly, I don't have any plans this year. With everything going on, there's not going to be any parties to go to. I'm not going to go into this city for the Halloween parade or anything like that. And as much as I would love to go to that Rise of the Jack-O-Lantern again... The ticket prices this year because of limited capacity is so expensive and I understand that they have to raise the price of the tickets if they can't have as many people as they would normally have but it went from like t maybe $20 a person to this year it's almost $50 a person and we're just kind of having a hard time justifying spending that much money on something just to walk through a garden and see pumpkins I know they're awesome it's a fun time but it's almost a hundred dollars just to look at pumpkins so I don't think we're going to do that this year that was our one thought to do on Halloween if we could but it's not um it's just not reasonable unfortunately so I think on Halloween we'll probably just have a fun dinner and find a good movie to watch and just relax and we did our Halloween decorating and just enjoy our Halloween decor and just hope that next year is a different situation but that's really all that we have planned. Do you watch spooky movies? Yes, I love spooky movies. I love anything that's like ghost story or vampires, witches, werewolves, you name it. I love all that kind of stuff. We actually just watched the movie Winchester last, not last week, a couple of weeks ago. And that movie came out in 2018, so it's not that old. And it is a ghost story based on the actual Winchester Mystery House in California and it is real it's actually a really good movie if you like ghost stories but something that's not like overly scary it was just a great movie and really interesting if you want to actually learn a little bit about the Winchester mansion which I did know some things about it but then it made me want to go research some more things but yeah I like kind of spooky creepy anything kind of dark like that that's definitely my jam my boyfriend doesn't always like that kind of stuff but he'll still watch some of it with me anyway because he knows that I enjoy it and he actually really liked that movie too so the last question is favorite fall activity and one of my favorite things to do in the fall is every year upstate New York in Rhinebeck there is the New York State Sheep and Wool Festival and as I am an avid knitter and I love all things fiber artistry I really enjoy going to this because there are tons of vendors for yarn and fibers and all kinds of things related to a fiber artistry and it's just so beautiful it's at the Dutchess County Fairgrounds and there's a ton of food and it's just beautiful picturesque scenery especially with the leaves changing and it's just one of those things that I enjoy doing year after year and I'm missing it this year because it's not happening with everything going on so it's really sad for the first time and I don't know how many years I'm not getting to do that but that is for sure one of my favorite fall activities and we went last year and had an awesome time so I'm grateful for that but I am looking forward to being able to 
going and doing that again next year with any luck all of this will be over and we will no longer have to deal with the social distancing and quarantining and all that stuff so we can get back to regular fall activities so that is pretty much it I hope that you enjoyed this video and here's a peek at my finished spread. I really love how this turned out. I love all of the foil so there is a nice viv wiggle so you could see all that beautiful shine. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and don't forget to head over to all the other girls channels to watch their videos and hear their Q&A. So hope you have a great day, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks, bye!